Well, this is all terrible, isn't it? We humans are still pretty awful to each other, aren't we? But as I always say, successful investors need to focus on the market that we actually have, not the one we wish we had. So today I'm gonna show you a market crash indicator that I will be paying extra attention to this week. And I'll show you how you can use it to gauge whether this latest mess is calming down or God forbid, maybe even getting worse. This chart here is what I call the cash VIX term structure and embedded in this is a wealth of useful information for volatility trades. These are the values as of last Friday, about six hours after the most recent horrible conflict started. So covering the basics really quickly, that point there represents where the VIX index is right now. Now I assume if you're watching my content, you're familiar with the VIX. Without geeking out too much, it's more or less accurate to say the VIX index is a representation of the market's expectation of forward one-month volatility. But what most people don't know is that there are VIX-style indexes for several other time frames as well. There's a VIX 9D representing nine days. There's a VIX 3M representing three months, a VIX 6M for six month volatility, and a VIX 1Y going out one year. There's also a one day, but I don't find that one very useful. So if we plot all these points on a curve, it looks like this. Like I said, this one is for last Friday. Now, if I show you a chart of the cash VIX term structure during a stable market period, and then I show you what it looks like during a market crash, you will immediately see why this is so useful for traders. So here's the cash VIX term structure from just two weeks ago. This is April 1st, 2024. Now the market was perfectly calm that day and you can see what this looks like in stable markets. Every further out date has a higher value. So you can see the one year VIX is higher than the six month, which is higher than the three month, higher than the one month VIX, and the lowest one being the short term VIX 9D. This is a cash VIX term structure in perfect contango. And this makes sense, right? In a stable market, there is no short term fear. So of course that one's going to be the lowest. But the longer the time horizon, the more un known markets get, and we would expect that volatility is pricing in that premium for the future unknowns. That's why in stable markets, we get that upward sloping curve. But if we're in a crisis or heading towards one, all of those volatility indexes will go up, of course, but I want you to focus on which ones are going up the fastest. This here is the cash VIX term structure for March 2nd, 2020. So this is about a week after the pandemic stuff started. Not nearly to the extremes. Remember, that didn't happen until mid-March. But even a week into the crisis, you can see what's happening. Now the shorter dated indexes are the higher ones representing that immediate fear. And then they drop off going out further in time. This is a curve in perfect backwardation. Nine days the highest, followed by the one month VIX, then the three month, six month, and one year. So if we again look at the cash VIX term structure as it is right now, we can see that there is already some fear being priced into that short term. The nine day VIX has already gone above the VIX index, signaling some short term fear. You know, a constant stream of videos of rockets being launched tends to do that. But we can see the one-month VIX is not yet above the three-month VIX. So this curve is only front-end backwardation, but past one month, it's still upward sloping contango. Now here's the punchline. These two ratios right here are the ones you want to pay attention to. If we see this nine-day VIX 9D coming back down closer to the one-month VIX, and maybe even going below it, that would signal that the market feels the current conflict will be short-lived and maybe won't affect affect the markets very much. But if you see this one month VIX going above the three month VIX, then of course look out below. Hopefully you're already in safety, but when this cash VIX term structure shifts towards backwardation, that is a clear sign that the market is pricing in some extended fear. And this isn't just a poll. They're not just asking people's opinion. These indexes are all calculated based on real dollar transactions in the S&P 500 options market. This is how traders are actually positioning their portfolio, so you'd be well advised to pay attention. So let's recap this. If that 9-day VIX 9D starts to move down towards the one-month VIX index and maybe even below it, that's the signal that the markets are calming down. But if that one-month VIX starts to move above the three-month VIX, well, then there's really something to worry about, and you would definitely want to be in all-out safety. The cash VIX term structure, which I post all this data, including percentile ranks and historical averages, this all goes out to the VTS community in every daily trade signals email. So if you need some guidance through this latest crisis, that's unfolding, there's a free two-week trial to VTS available to everybody, either down in the description or on my website. We exited our short volatility positions a week ago and moved into gold. If you want to know how we knew to do that, claim your free trial down below because I can definitely help you out. Stay safe, traders.
So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily, and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.